Hey everybody, welcome back to another film study where today we'll be taking a look at, well, what you see on the screen. What a handy way to do that. Just, you know, just tell everybody exactly what you're going to be putting up there. And we're going to be taking a look at the lack of separation by the wide receivers. Now, this was not just an issue in this particular game. And I would honestly just go ahead and tell you, this is not the reason the team lost the game. There are several reasons that New Orleans ended up losing against the New York Giants, but receiver separation was not the only one. But because this has been a continued issue, I think it would be a good time for us to take and sit and watch and learn and, and see together what is causing New Orleans to have these problems. And what can be done to rectify them? Because at the end of the day, that's kind of what matters is can they get better with this or are they doomed to fail? Is this just going to be how it is or can it get better? And I think it can, but we need to understand why it's happening. And just to be real, four games in, when you start seeing things that are consistent, they become patterns, they can really be used to build a scouting report. Remember, we repeat this all the time. One game of Game Pass, film, whatever you want to use, however you get your tape, uh, I get it from the team, it's not enough. But as a whole, you can build an entire scouting report on. And now that we're four games in, we do have a basic idea of where uh, things are going. And we got an idea of where they could be in the future. And also, real quick, yes, I realize that Marquez Callaway is no longer number 12. But it is what it is. So we're going to start with the first passing play. We'll try to skip through some of the ones that aren't passing plays as we go through here. And then, of course, we've got our wonderful Madden Penn. So shout out to that. Not going to give them a name until they pay me for it. No free ad spots here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is going to be a swing pass. Now, this counts as a run. I'm including it because of the design, but you're going to have Kamara come through right here on the slot. You're going to drag him down, then wrap him around back and run a swing pass. So you want to fake the inside zone run or just any zone run here, like a little counter. You're going to block everybody down. You're going to try to drag the entire defense this way. Then you're going to block out on the edges, which will leave Alvin Kamara to come around. He's got one man, the safety that he has to then fight off. So let's just watch this play in full speed first. And even though this counts as a run, it counts as a run, by the way, because it's a backwards pass. So right here, see how the pass goes backwards? That makes it a run play, but it's a pass. I mean, it's just a, a screen pass. They're trying to get the screen in the game more. This counts as a screen, this little swing screen towards the outside. And Kamara makes a great thing happen to then get the play. And this is not something you can see a lot of creation or separation with, but you do see a lot of creativity here in terms of them deploying this out on the field and trying to make plays happen. All right, so we're going back into an actual version of a pass here, and this one ends up going incomplete. But one thing that you'll note here, and I think actually I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller, easier for y'all. Here we go. Power of the internet. Bam, look at that. It's beautiful. So I want you to look at some of the routes here. You've got Callaway, you've got Juwan Johnson, you've got Deontay Harris down here at the bottom of your screen. Now watch this. This is a big key. At the drop, nobody's open. A big issue that you're finding right now is that receivers are getting open, but they're not always getting open quickly. And coming into the breaks and coming out of their breaks and then at their at their drop points, and we talk about all the things that Michael Thomas did so well, you're not seeing that consistently with the Saints. I mean, I'll go as far as say right now, your best receiver through four weeks is this guy, Deontay Harris. And what I'm about to say is not meant to be offensive to Deontay Harris at all. But if Deontay Harris is your best receiver, you've probably got a problem in your receiver court. This is not a player who spends full time at receiver, especially up until this year. And in a lot of ways is more of a special teams elite guy. Lots of things that he can do really, really well. As I said, I'm not trying to down Deontay Harris. However, he is not supposed to be your premier number one, the guy at receiver. And he has honestly been the best, most consistent receiver. And that's an issue. You've got Callaway here running a, a little corner. You got this route that is not open yet up at the top. And uh, you can see really kind of everywhere. It's really just clustered. The only place to attempt to go was Tony Jones Jr. underneath, and it ends up not making it to him. Callaway's not open until the end of the play. And for timing purposes, let me go ahead and show you the timing. We'll do a count out, just raw count out here. Snap, one, two, three, four. Four seconds to get the ball out. I know that's not a precise measurement, but you need receivers to be open in three seconds or less. That's your timing point. One, two, three. He's in the drop. He's seeing. He needs to be able to see something at this point in his drop. This is where he has reached that seven-step drop depth. He's got to be able to see something opening, and there's nothing there yet. Here, you get another second. 
It's fine if we take it to the third second mark to get there. That's okay for longer intermediate passes, which is what this is. This is fine, but you've got to have somebody opening now. You've got to have a window opening now. And we're talking about just literally tenths of a second difference here. It's so small that you only really notice it when you have issues like this because now there's nothing. The corner route's nowhere near open, though it needs more time for Callaway. You don't have this outside seam route open. The middle of the field, this deep in, is just taking too long. It's not there. The only thing available is the drop down. So it's not that everything is awful or anything, but it's literally tenths of a second not fast enough to truly open up those windows. So it makes it to where every throw is tighter. Everything needs to be more difficult. That doesn't mean there aren't things that Winston is forgetting to do in terms of he's not making as aggressive of passes as I believe he should be at times. He did get much better at that in this game, as you'll see. But little things, how quickly are they getting separation, if at all? This was another attempted screen that just didn't go well. And that's going to lead us to this third and 13. Let's go ahead and get the snap. We hit our drop back. Remember, we're back at our drop back now. This is over three seconds. The only thing open underneath is underneath right now. The only thing open is underneath right now. Even this deep out towards the sideline is not the prettiest route by Callaway. Once again, we're not trying to talk trash. I do believe this is a pass that he could make. On third down, you throw to this window right here. This DB does not have a lot of depth. You could throw this. I believe Jameis Winston can make this throw. I believe he's got the arm. I believe he's talented enough to make this throw. He tries to go underneath, and he actually throws it pretty poorly. But at the end of the day, Callaway's also late in the break there. He's late getting to the spot. And then also, that's a very rounded cut. So when you make these cuts, you want them to be sharp. You want to get there and create as much separation as possible between. His is very rounded, lets the DB get an, uh, an angle on him. He's going to round it off and then try to cut work back. That is not a very clean separation there. And maybe that's kind of the issue for Winston. Maybe he doesn't believe that that pass has a good chance of being completed because the route wasn't run as crisply as, say, a Michael Thomas would, or maybe even a Traquan Smith. All the hate that Traquan Smith has gotten over the years, sure, maybe he hasn't developed to what you've wanted him to, but he's, at least he's been consistent in what he's been, a, an average receiver in the NFL. And at times, these receivers aren't even looking average. So here he is in his drop. He is staring at that route, waiting for it, waiting for it. It's not there. Just try to get to Juwan Johnson. Bad pass, by the way, Jameis Winston. We're not letting Winston pass on the bad snap, but receivers not really there for him yet. So we're going to keep on moving through these plays. And this is a run to start, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, it's not the play action pass. We're going to skip it. Go to second and four. It's another run. We got third and one, which is another run. Then we're going to move. I think this is the fourth run in a row, if I'm remembering right. He checks. Sorry, got to remember all these plays at the same time as tough. Yeah, there's the play action, and this was a good job. This is, once again, though, this is a design play. This really only has one you know, uh, one, one route that you're supposed to really focus on. So when you run these boots, you're supposed to look short to high. You're, you're working low to high here. And you basically always tell the quarterback, especially at the high school, college level, take this low read. You immediately get it to take some with space. Now, you could potentially work it, and we've seen Drew work it to the sideline route and then work it to the intermediate route on the crossing back. But you almost always want to go to this guy every single time and let him get upfield. This is a very simple design. So we've already seen a couple of plays that have happened, like the, the swing pass that was a run, this pass, which is a kind of a jet motion underneath as we do a sail concept or a flood concept. That's not really any receiver separation. That's just simply making a guy open with design. So when we're looking for plays that happen, we need to see receivers separating by themselves and not because of play design. All right, we got a full field tunnel screen here. This is another one that this is by design. And I love how Peyton has started to integrate tunnel screens into the game because he's not very trusting of the offensive line when it comes to regular screens. So what do we do? Widen out the defense and run a tunnel screen. So really good job there to try to do a quick sweep little block by Pete and by Hurst to get to the next level and form that tunnel that you can run through. And you see Hurst does a good job of getting there as well. Break through and then get that block out. Good job by everybody. Ends up being a big play. Let's keep moving on. See if we can notice anything as we continue. So we've got a run play there. We're going to skip it. This is another one. We definitely will run heavy in this game. And I think this is because a lot of the design that you were getting is you got a lot of five-man boxes in this game. All right, back to the gun. This time we're waiting. We're waiting. Where are we going? Where are we going? Over five seconds he holds that ball. Absolutely nothing opens. So let's talk about the different routes that you have. 
You've got two little out routes here and then two deep routes. You got two corner routes, two out routes, and a check down the middle. So let's rewind it on back. So what you're going to have, I'll draw it on the screen. You're going to have deep corner, deep corner, out route, out route, and check in the middle. Nothing is open at three seconds. So the initial check would be, what are the safeties doing high? Because that's going to determine if I can even make it to my deep reads. Let me, let me run it. All right. So we're going to get it to his drop. So he's at a shotgun. He's going to get to a seven-step level of drop right here. Now we're about two seconds in. We're reading safeties. How are they reacting? He's immediately seeing we got bracket on the corner here. So that's definitely a no-go. We might have this one if time allows, and we're checking this. It looks like we got contact with Kamara, but we're probably not focusing in on that yet. We're focusing on Callaway and how they're reacting to him. And the other side, you've also got a good jam and contact on Harris. All right, now it's time to move. We're about three and a half seconds in. What do we see? We're moving up in the pocket. You can argue Harris had about a yard of separation. That is not good separation, and he's out physical here. Kamara has absolutely nothing. He's plastered, and this currently has nothing plastered. This has room, but now we're having to move in the pocket. We're having to escape. Callaway's completely out of the picture. So you had Juwan Johnson maybe in a corner there, but not very well, and that goes nowhere. Let's do it full speed. We're going to count it. Now watch where things are at about three seconds, because that's what we're trying to determine. What is separation at at three? Two, three. He's still in his set. He's still in his pocket. This is at three seconds of separation, checking his first reads. His first read is right here. He's got to check that first. Then he's got to check what's going on on the same side of the field. Then he's going to come back and check this. If he has time. Now, Drew could check all this in one go. He would go check. Here's what Drew would do. Check, 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 check in three seconds. Drew is elite, though, and it took Drew years to even get to that level. Jameis is not at that level. So Jameis is going to check half field first. He's looking for his primary read. His primary read is this corner. Then he has to check this one. Well, that's you, you could barely even see Kamara in the screen. So now he's got to move up, and there's already pressure coming in the pocket. So now he's got to escape it. Now, on the move, you don't necessarily want to make this throw. I do want him to be more aggressive, so maybe, maybe, but his initial read, as we said, was this half field. It's a lot that you got to do in three seconds. It's a lot, and there was no separation. The only one you could really argue had separation was Deontay Harris by about a yard, but he's the last read on the opposite end of the field. That's a very difficult process to get to, even if you know pre-snap what's coming, and pre-snap, you had a different look. I want to show this one more time. Your pre-snap look is cover two. You've got a two deep look, two deep shelf here, which should tell him that he's got Alvin Kamara solo, if nothing else, that he can go to. So we're going to sit here. You can tell he looks at Kamara, ain't nothing there. Looks at Callaway, ain't nothing there. And then ends up having to move and then does the right decision, by the way. Tries to get to the check down, man. And Logan Ryan simply makes an amazing play. So let's, let's run it through the back end. And you can see Jameis's eyes. He does not go full field here. This is a half field, and then he slides. All right, come on. All right, snap. All right, reading safety, reading, 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 nothing there, move. You see right there, he peeks. You see him right now, he's looking at Callaway. I'm sorry, he's looking at Juwan Johnson. He's checking that deep route. So that's now, he has now looked at receiver four. He's already checked receiver three, which is the check down, and he saw it. But now he's checking, does he have one pass to make? Nope. All right, make the play. Does a good job. It actually gets to the receiver. He did, Winston did his job. He's simply not Drew Brees. Logan Ryan just simply breaks it up. Does a great job. So ends up being an incomplete pass. But nothing there. I mean, receivers didn't make a play. Even Kamara didn't have separation. And that's something that's kind of worrisome for a lot of people. All right, then we get this one, which did not go well. But we'll watch it anyway, just because sake of watching. All right, we get that motion there. We did a lot of that motion. We tried to do the pitch. And yeah, didn't go well at all. All right, let's move on to the next drive. All right, back in the gun. This is a quick release. I like this. And as I said, the one person probably giving you consistent good routes, Deontay Harris. And he's the one who gets it here. They gave him off coverage because they're scared of his deep. I love the read here. This is basically a four curls. You're just doing short curls everywhere. Curl, 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 curl. That's all it is. It's an easy read. And when you see that off coverage on Deontay because they're worried about his speed, get it to him. Bam. Bam. Good job. That's a really easy seven-yard early play. Quick read, 
These are the design things. You got that's that's a quick pre-snap design read. You don't have to worry about a guy getting space. You got it. You got to throw as long as that space is open. So one, two, out. Quick. That's a good job. It's a good read. That's a scheme making the space though. That's not a receiver making the space. It's scheme making the space. All right. Now we got taste down below. It's another run. Let's keep it moving. This is a good one I like, but this is scheme again. I like it and I don't like it at the same time. So they're going to run another flood concept to this side of the field right here. Nobody's open. Nobody. Nobody's open. Nope. All right, so here's what they try to do. They try to run the sail or the flood concept. And what they did is they motioned into like this shotgun pistol, which is really unique, and they've got Deontay Harris back here. So what they're going to do with Harris is essentially run him on a swing route, and he's got the flat. So where my head is, he's in control of the flat. Then you've got Callaway, who's running a deep clear. He's running the vertical here. And then you've got what is essentially an out option, a little out option, because you're going to have Steels running the intermediate who's going to cut back. And you've seen him run this a couple times, and they actually had a completion with it last week that was really good. But watch if there's any separation in your mind on this play. So here we go. Drop, now we're reading. No separation, none. Stills is locked up. You've got a safety already coming over, over the top on Callaway, and then the outside container. There's nowhere to really go. That's a heck of a needle throw if there ever was one. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Because him, his route is interior, middle of the field close. Remember the rule? Middle of the field close. So really only the option he has is Stills, Unless Deontay Harris is beaming here in a wheel route, which he's not, he's simply running a swing. So Steele's right there, maybe considered somewhat open on the cutback, but really not really. And at this time, Jameis is already trying to move out the pocket. We can argue he moved a little bit early, and I'm here for that argument. If you want to critique on that, cool, that's fine. But in terms of the route that's open, nothing. Ain't nothing open. Kenny Steele's semi, kind of, sort of open at this point. I would throw the pass there. I'm going to say I would. At the same time, there's not a lot of separation. It's a very, very difficult completion to make because Kenny's going to get hit. And I do believe that Kenny has helped. And I would make this throw if I'm Jameis. And he did get more aggressive as the game went on. But there's not a lot there. There's not a lot there. Kenny Stills is the guy that you're relying on. I'm going to be honest. Kenny Stills has lost a step. Kenny Stills has definitely lost a step. But I want him to make this throw. And I'm not trying to absolve Winston of any fault here. But from a receiver standpoint, sometimes it's just not there. And that time he doesn't pull the trigger. I want him to pull the trigger. He will later in a very fantastic play. Here we get the play action. Another design screen. So here we go. Once again, we're making plays work by design, not by receivers themselves making plays. This is by design. It's just a good job. Everybody's worried about Kamara, and they end up using Kamara as a lead blocker, which is a genius move. I mean, we talk about Peyton having a bad play calling day. He really didn't. His bad play calling was the field goal choice and then the fourth quarter. Most of the game, he had some great draw-ups. Just wish it lasted throughout the game. Anyway, keep moving after the run. Another run, another run. All right, now we're going to go in a three-by-one set out of the gun. And this is going to be... And I'm trying to remember what this one was. Yeah, this is that little quick slant uh, that doesn't really go for anywhere. Once again, though, no separation at all. Uh, I mean, he, this is on off coverage and no separation. Now, that's a great read, by the way. I think that's Bradbury. Is that Bradbury with the great read? That is a heck of a jump off off coverage. You got to give credit to the corner there. But, yeah, I'm not even going to call that no separation. It's just a fantastic freaking jump. All right, we're just going to skip that. That is a heck of a jump, man. That dude gets mad props from me on that one. All right, let's move over here to this next play. I think this is not play action. All right, let's move this one. All right, so here we go to this one. Now, this is one that you can a little bit of receiver separation argument. Once again, we're in a three-by-one set, so three at the top, one at the bottom. And it is a little bit of a scheme there, but it's also a good job in terms of spacing by Harris. It's a good job of spacing by Harris. So he's going to cut down early because of the separation, which is a good choice by him. And then he does enough to get a first down. That's a really good job by Harris. So even though this is a scheme designed to get out this opening here, at the same time, it's still a good job by Harris because he hits the appropriate depth and he runs the route perfectly. It's crisp. It's clean. Ends up getting a first down because he helped make that separation stay there. So that was a good job by Harris. Once again, that's probably your best receiver on the team right now. Right, let's move on to the next one, which I think is another run play. Nope, this is that boot. 
Yes, yeah, that boot. So it's another, we're designing openness here. We're not getting open naturally. We're having to design open plays. So we'll let this one row through to Hogan real quick. Underneath, good read, good release. We're having to scheme it. And I think that's the trouble for, for Peyton and Carmichael is a lot of these guys aren't getting open. They're not making things happen in Windows. You're having to design them open and, and make these things happen, and that's difficult to do consistently like every play. All right, is this the good one? Oh, this is Taysom running. No, it's not the good one. I was hoping that was the deep pass. All right, we're going to motion into a three-by-one again. Once again, ain't nobody really open. Even that was tight coverage. Tight. So three by one again. You're going to motion down. That's helping you get an identifier. We can tell we got man coverage on the outside. All right. So real quick, here's what he sees in this drop. Open right now. And that's the that's the final look. Shut down. Shut down. Absolutely nothing. Can't even get off the, the, the physical. Finally get some, but by now we've already left. What was I talking about timing? By then we've already left. And even then, you've still got that guy who can jump back on it. So then you get to the early read, and this is just not an elite athlete who's hes not better than the defender who comes at him. Not better than the defender who comes at him. So what are you going to do? I mean, it's a good throw by Winston. He makes a good choice. But that's not an elite athlete who just won the day. What are you going to do? Your primary reads didn't get anywhere. Deontay Harris and uh, who we have up there. Yeah, anyway, what you going to do? What you going to do? Is that little Jordan Humphrey? I'm trying to catch what number that was. We'd like that ball to come out a little bit hotter, though, Winston. Let that ball come out a little bit hotter. I need a little bit of heat on it. All right, we get Taysom now. It's another run. We're setting up the big play for later. All right, now we're back into a pass. Good job uh, by... Woof. Woof, this is a hell of a window throw. This is his best throw as a saint. I want you to look at Ruiz get his lunch eight right here on the twist. Ooh, get off the ground, sir. But this is one hell of a throw by Jameis Winston, man. If you want to see a positive from this game, Jameis finally started letting it go. There's almost no separation here. This is what I've been telling y'all all day. You've got to make a play. You needed a long conversion. If you don't remember what the odds are, this is third and nine. You needed a long conversion. Look at this window he throws it into. Almost no separation. He throws with anticipation. He's like, screw it. I'm going to go for it. I ain't got nobody doing anything. I'm going to try to make it happen and give my guy a chance. That's what he does. There ain't no separation there. That is just a hell of a throw by a quarterback. That's arm talent. That is arm talent. And shout out to Ty Montgomery for making it. Look at that pass. This is what Winston is having to do. And Winston has to do this. The, the problem is we're going to call him out if he throws interceptions. Like, we're going to get mad at Winston if he throws this and the receiver bobbles it and it becomes an interception because it's a double coverage. But where are you going to go? Locked down. Drop man is not getting the first down anyway. Locked up. Locked up. And by the way, the spacing here is awful. You, you don't have two guys running inside the numbers at the same spot. That's awful spacing. You would never throw that pass anyway. So... You, receiver separation, receiver route running. You know, it's like I told y'all, I was talking to the regional scouting director for the NFL Combine from a few years ago. And he was like, look, these dudes are struggling at basic route running. They're just not even running good routes. This has been consistent. And while there are times where the routes can be good and stuff is open, Winston has to take advantage of those. A lot of times, this is what you're getting consistently. And that's why you need Michael Thomas and even Traquan back. Like, this is bad. You let the dude carry you this deep into the numbers, his So the landmark here is sidelines and numbers. I would be really surprised if Coach Curtis came on here and said, yep, both my guys are supposed to be within five yards of each other down the route. I would be shocked if that's supposed to happen. Absolutely shocked. One of these guys, this guy should be riding those numbers, and this guy's riding the sideline. I uh, just, no, no, you can't let them carry you out like that. You've, you've eliminated that entire field. This is just a hell of a throw and. Great catch, by the way, Montgomery. All right, let's keep it moving. That was his best throw as a saint, and you need to have him do that more consistently. All right, back to the run. And then we're eventually going to get that Taysom Hill amazing run. Oh, that Taysom Hill one was nuts. Oh, my gosh. There's that penalty, and then boom, boom. Love it. Love the physicality. All right, back in the pass. There we go. Another tight window throw another good job by Winston he's got to do this if he's going to win games for the New Orleans Saints this is what he's simply got to do 
It's a good break right there, by the way. Juwan Johnson had a good break there. Good plant. Good job to make the separation. He gets him turned around. Realize this. And once again, three by one set. We're scheming it open. We got Deontay Harris underneath. We got man coverage. We like it. Single safety can't choose what to do because he's got this driving up the middle. He's got this. He can't pick. You've overloaded him. You got three routes all right in his zone. So you, you make it to where he can't react. You get the turned window throw. Chef's kiss. This is good. This is what you need. If you don't have guys who can do it perfectly, then hell of a window throw. Give me the window. Make it happen. Pull the trigger. Was happy to see Jameis start doing this, man. After the first quarter where there's some things that, yeah, I wanted him to pull it, he started pulling it. Let it rip. That's that's a pass that Drew makes every day. You got to have it. And I hate to hold people to a Drew Brees standard, but, you know, that's what you're used to seeing. That's what you expect. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going, everybody. We're 26 minutes in. I think it's been a good film study. You're seeing a good mix of having to scheme things open and then not having it. Now, this one I absolutely loved. This is fantastic. He allows it to develop because here's the thing. Right at his drop, his initial read is good. But also, I'll tell you what Taysom used to do on this same route. This is that Yankee concept we talk about. Remember that Yankee concept? That deep in with, or Taysom's really running it as a crossover. And then that post route. Remember we talked about this all the time? So right now, Jameis is reading the safety's, uh, sorry, the corner's back turn. How's the safety react? Bam. As soon as you see him staring at the safety, as soon as that safety goes, hey, Taysom, I love you, buddy. You already know where the ball's got to go. Release. Bam. Too late. You shouldn't let him get behind you. Perfect pass. Beautiful. Once again, this is a difficult window type pass because he's having to throw it deep down the field. You see Taysom running. This deep end that's really rounded off makes it look like a crossover. If, it, if they call it as a crossover, cool, whatever. If he's running an over or if he's running a deep end, I don't care. The, the main thing that you're looking from this Yankee concept is you need the safety to bite down just a little bit. And you need Callaway to force outside leverage. That way when he breaks in, he sells it. So the first thing he has to do is attack the outside shoulder of the corner. Let's see if he does that. Let's watch. Yep, he's attacking outside. See that little bit? You saw us he's going a little bit outside. Cause the DB to turn, then bam, cut in. Good job. Now just get long strides. You need long strides to get deep. There we go. That's what the Saints have to do. That's not a lot of separation, but Callaway does enough to win. And then the scheme combined with that with a great throw by Winston makes the play happen. That wasn't a receiver just dominating. He did his job, but that was scheme mixed with Winston pulling the trigger. So if you don't have all three things happen, if you don't have a receiver who just made three yards of separation, then you need the other two to be working well. And when they're all working well, well, then you really are a dominant force. And it just hasn't been the case. All right, quick pass. No worries. That's fine. Get, get your yards, Hogan. Love the fight. Love the fight. Wish that was all there in the fourth quarter from this team, but love the fight. Then we have Taysom here. Love the pull. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. Oh, love it, Taysom. That's just one of the best runs I've ever seen. And New York giving up on the play, which is Oh, I'd be so pissed if I'm if I'm coach. All right, so let's move for a couple more. We're not gonna look at too many more. You kind of get the idea. Watching here is another good run by Camara. Now we're back in the pass and back in the ain't nobody open. Da na 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 na. Thankfully the scramble drill worked though. All right, so we're in a two by two set. Now doing another flood type concept with layers. And look at it. This all of it. Close, 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 close. All of it's gone. That's even gone. Ain't nobody here in a five-round concept. We're scrambling, and now we're finally opening the scramble drill. If this is what you're having to rely on to get open, you are screwed as a quarterback full-time. This is just – I love that he makes the throw. Love that he waits, lets it open, and good job by – the receiver Montgomery to read it and get there. But look at Callaway, nothing. And Callaway is just letting the dude hug him. That's not holding. Callaway is just not separating, man. That's not holding. It just get some separation, man. All right, look at Kamara. Kamara's going to have your first little uh, your, your pull here. Tries to go underneath. Almost like a little scissors concept. Covered. They cover it well. Kamara's got nothing. Callaway's just like, yeah, buddy, hug me, man. I need some attention. I need some love. I need some affection. All right, now you got two in routes. Deontay Harris covered Montgomery covered ain't nowhere to go and now the pockets breaking down we got to move good job by Winston to buy some time floof great job I mean what do you want what do you want 
what you see from this is there are times where receivers are open. There are times that scheme makes the receivers open, and that's fantastic. But overall, you're seeing a consistent issue when it comes to this team's receiving group finding separation and providing targets to a quarterback. Now, Winston still has things that he's got to do better. I saw the best Winston I've seen this year in this loss. Hopefully, that's an indication of stuff moving forward. But the receiver play has continued to be lackluster. They either have to get schemed open or they're open here and there. Callaway, good job on the deep pass. You made it happen. Good technique. You caught the pass. You know, Harris has some really good ones here in this game. It's not completely every single drive they're losing. But as a whole, you're seeing it. Not a lot of separation. That's why we keep begging for Michael Thomas, Traquan Smith, because this receiver room is simply not getting it done as they currently stand. And you've got to see it get better. Well, if you enjoyed the video, I need to know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this out with your friends, your family, your neighbors, and whoever might enjoy some film study and Saints football. And let me know if you disagree vehemently in the comment section below. Deuces, that's me. I'll catch you on the next one. Toodles.